Okay, folks, look, today we're doing stewed okra and tomatoes with just a splash of andouille, if you know me. So let's get it. Now, as you guys can see, it's not a whole lot of ingredients, mostly everything that we have like in our, our pantries or, you know, our refrigerator. So listen, don't forget the full ingredient list will be on my website. That's smokingandgrillingwithab.com and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, let's talk about this okra. A lot of people don't like okra because they say they don't like the sliminess of it. You know what I mean? That's why when I make gumbos, I make them differently. You know what I mean? Sometimes I use gum, uh, sometimes I use okra, sometimes I don't. Then you got a lot of people out there saying, listen, if it don't have uh, okra in it, it ain't a real gumbo. So I'm finna show you guys what you do right off from the back to make them not so much slimy. Actually, this takes all of the sliming, the sliminess out. So the first thing I do is I cut the top off and then the bottom right where it's real thin. So what you wanna do is just go ahead and cut these down into the same size pieces. You know what I mean? Uh, look, that right there do it. That one might be a little big. This one too. Let's see, let's cut this one down. If you wanna get them as, as uniform as you can, right? Then we just take them and put them in a, a bowl, right? I'm gonna do it one more time so you guys can see. I'm not finna bore you guys after that. We just finna cut these down and I'll show you what we do with them next. All right, so look, now that I got them all cut down, right? So I'm gonna add a little heat to my pan. We're gonna start with like a medium high heat, right? Now I'm gonna say it this way. What we wanna do is we just wanna put this inside this one, inside of the pan while it's hot, right? When it's hot, then we just like cook it around, maybe about like seven, seven minutes. Really it's about whenever it starts to brown, it'll cook some of that sliminess out. We don't wanna put nothing else in here, but whatever we're gonna use. Now for me, I'm gonna be cooking with bacon fat. We can go ahead and use bacon fat. If you guys want to, you can use butter, or you know, if you don't wanna use nothing like that, you can go ahead and use some extra virgin olive oil, which I have right here, but this is a garlic infused. So listen, it's really about the ingredients that you guys have that starts off when you start adding in flavors on top of flavors, that's how you come up with them incredible dishes. Okay, so look, when I since I'm using the bacon fat, I don't know if you guys, let me stand in front of it, maybe you guys can see just a little bit of it starting to smoke just a little bit. Now we go ahead and just add. Right? So this is what you wanna do. You just wanna cook it down just a little bit, but I wanna get a little bacon fat on all of the okra too. Right? And we're gonna let the heat and this cast iron push a little bit of that sliminess out of there and make this where you guys are just really, really like it. Especially for you guys that say that you don't, you know, really like the taste of okra. And then most of the time when I ask that question, it's really because they say it's slimy. Okay, so now that we got the okra in the pan, right, we wanna just prep the rest of our ingredients, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get my, check it out, get my jalapeno together. And that's up to you guys, how much you wanna use, you know what I mean, of the jalapeno, you can do the whole, or you guys can go ahead and just use, you know, one half of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start to de-seed this and get it ready. Now you see I went with the whole, you know, diced, and notice that I diced it thinly, you know what I mean? Uh, the reason I did that, because it's really about the taste here. Then if you guys look over here, remember we just want a brown, right? So I'm only on a medium high heat, excuse me. I'm only on a medium heat, you know? I'm just moving these around, making sure, because I don't want to like cook these. We're not making fried okra or nothing like that. We're just cooking the sliminess out, right? I just seen it as I moved it across. I saw one of those little webs telling me that it's getting nice, hot, and starting to, you know, release that sliminess. Okay, and over here, I'm just going ahead and I'm using fresh rosemary, right? Okay, and then all you want to do is do the same thing with your yellow bell pepper, right? I'm using the combination of yellow and green. Really, you know what? I'm just using this. I love the color and the flavor too. So let's do it like this. And then you're going to dice these down small also. If you guys want to see it in your dish, you know, you want to make them a little bit bigger. That's all. Give it a little texture also, right? So we just move these over here. Let me finish this, then I'll get to the green. And I think they just about, the okra is just about ready to come out. All right, so if you guys come on in here, look at this, you can see they starting to brown. Again, I'm not trying to just cook them all the way down like that. You know what I mean? We just want to cook that sliminess out. I promise you that we have done that, right? Now that the okra is done, you know, I prepped. Look, we got green jalapeno and yellow bell pepper, right? Jalapeno by itself. We got fresh rosemary. Got some thyme, I mean some uh, bay leaves, and then I got garlic, and I got like a small piece. Listen, I just want the flavor that they put in here for the andouille to, you know, flavor the dish, right? So all I did was take a paper towel, because this is seasoned perfectly. I just wiped it, threw that away. Now I'm getting ready to come with just like about two tablespoons of bacon fat. 
All right, so I can see that, you know, my pan was already holding some residual heat anyway, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my onions first. All right, then you just, you know me. Listen, we building flavor, right? So we wanna make sure that it's covered in that bacon grease. For you guys that don't wanna do the uh, bacon, you know what I mean? You can always go ahead and use, uh, you know, butter. And again, then you can use olive oil. But butter will give you a little bit more of a rich flavor to it. Now, after about one minute head start, right? Actually, that's good enough. You know what I mean, just looking at it. Now we're gonna add the rest of our veggies inside. And we just give it a, you know, mix. Now that's green bell pepper and jalapeno in there also. If you guys wanna put more yellow in there, you can. I just use about half of it. You know what I mean? Really, we just trying to get these flavors to marinate. I mean, to marry together, right? And you know what, a lot of the times too, it's visual also, so we just go with it like this. Now we get ready to cut up that andouille. All right, andouille's cut. Look at that right there, folks. I'm only gonna let this go for about one more minute. Maybe about a minute and a half. Just leave it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and add my andouille. We want to get that flavor in there, right? That andouille flavor. All right, so now what I'm doing is, we're getting ready to add our garlic, right? But like, I like to put my garlic on top of, right? On top of whatever I have in my pan so that I don't burn it, right? So here it is right here. Look at this right here. Mm. Look at how they come out. Gotta get yourself one of these. I promise you, make me think of my grandmama every time. I grew up with her just, hey, miss this, miss that. And because she cooked every day, you know what I mean? So I always had to have minced garlic at the ready. Now we just give it a stir. We're not gonna allow it to burn, All right? So we got that going. Now we're gonna put in some tomato paste. Let's get this going around. Ooh, man, you could, man, what's something about that garlic? Once it get on that hot pan, and with the rest of the aromas that's coming up off of this right here, the aromatic that telling your brain whatever signal is given is fire. So now we're gonna go ahead and just put in about a tablespoon. All right, we're gonna mix this in. Then we got some red chili flakes. You know what I mean? Let's get that going. Now you guys can use as much of that as you would like. You know what I mean? Don't forget the full ingredient list is on my website, smoking and grilling with AB.com. And that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Then we come with a little bit of our red wine vinegar. Oh yeah. All right. And if I hadn't said nothing, we want to be on just like a medium heat. You know what I mean? Uh, nice. Look at this right here. Mm-hmm. Now let's talk about these tomatoes. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding a little bit. I got a slotted spoon, you know what I mean? Cause I wanted to like leave some of the juice in here. You know, some of the tomato sauce, right? But we want to save it. That's why I didn't just, just drain it out of the, I didn't just drain it out of the can. Some of us gonna, might, we might need to put a little bit in. So right now, stay with me folks. Right? Now I have a meat masher. You know, you guys can use a, a wooden spoon or something like that to break them up. Matter of fact, look, this time I didn't need the meat masher. Look, just break them up a little bit with my spatula. Yes, sir. So once it comes back up to a simmer, you know, look, now we're gonna add our rosemary. Then we're gonna give it a, a nice pinch or two of salt. And then of course, we gotta come with that fresh, you know, cracked and ground pepper. Now listen, I want you guys to pay attention. I haven't put in none of my chicken stock or nothing like that. What I'm doing is I want this to cook, cook down, right? So we're gonna get this going. Just like you see, I'm gonna set this down to a simmer. And we're gonna let this simmer maybe for about five minutes. Now we're gonna add our okra. Right. 
Now, when you guys make it, you can add more okra to it. I did this just this just this way, just for us recording. You know what I mean? And now we what we want to do is we want to start adding our stock to it, stock or broth. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook that down. So we're just gonna take another 10 to 15 minutes of just simmering, right? Oh my goodness! It's gonna get everything nice and soft. Look at that right there. Once you come up to a simmer, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and add our bay leaves. Right? And then I'm gonna set a timer for about 15 minutes and let this just simmer, right? You know what I mean? And then I'm gonna come and make sure I stir it. You don't want it to be too high. You don't want to burn nothing on the bottom. You know what I mean? Now we want to get everything to marry. You want that bay leaf to do its thing. And I'll see y'all in just a minute. Okay, folks, take a look at this. Obviously, I don't have no, you guys didn't see me putting no lid on. I apologize if I didn't say we're gonna cook this and simmer it and let everything marinate inside of here without a lid, folks. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and turn this off. Now you guys can see it. Ooh, man, this is nice right here. Right, look at that. Not a whole lot. Really, this is for somebody who say they don't like to have okra in there. You can you can set, you know, start them off with this like this. Uh, I promise you, you won't taste none of that sliminess or get none of that in your mouth. So what I would do is have it like this for those who, you know, just get them to try it after that. You can start adding it to it. It's really the flavors that's in here, right? So it can be served with, listen to this, it can be served with cornbread, over rice, by itself. You know what I mean? Uh, this is something to stick to your bone, warm you up, and get you right, folks. Let's go ahead and taste it. All right, you guys, listen. You guys tell me what you think just by looking at it. You guys got to give it a try. Remember, we cooked the sliminess out. Probably about 90% of the sliminess is gone, but we cooked it out of the okra, right? Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I'm finna just mix some of this up like this. Get a little bit of this, you know, sauce. Let's grab some there. I got some andouille. Oh, and we got it for me. I gotta have it. You see that right there? That's a combination of everything that's in that, that uh, pan right there. Check it out. Cheers, y'all. This is it right here. The right amount of spice. Okay, folks, you guys tell me, what would you do to level this up? It really, the sky's the limit. Whatever flavors you think that would marry with this and make this even better, please talk to me down in the comment section below. And just again, to recap this, we cooked that uh, okra and there's no sliminess. It's just, it's fire, folks. Now, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? It's time to eat, y'all. I'm out. Peace.